Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and here we are looking at the same table again. So what will they ask us this time? Let's go ahead and check out the question. It says the table gives information about the Yavapai County swim team. Yes, we've heard this before. How much would an 11 year old, I did it again, where's my pen? There we go. How much would an 11 year old, so that's one piece of information we have, pay in registration and meet fees over the course of a season if they participate in every meet. So we're gonna assume they're participating in every meet. We're looking for the total cost here to the parent uh, for their 11 year old student to participate. So we've looked at this table before, we've got a lot going on, but right now, um, what we're looking for is those costs in registration and meet fees for an 11 year old. And here's what most of my students do. They go, okay, an 11 year old falls in the nine to 12 year range, so they're a junior. And they go, look, registration and meet fees. And then they're super excited. They add up these two numbers and they don't understand why their GED score was not a good score when they thought they did so well. <laughs> okay, let's look a little more closely at our table to think about these kind of fees that we have. So we have this registration fee. $55. And I would ask you every time we talk about a fee, is this a one-time fee that we're going to pay or is this a repeated fee, something we pay over and over again? Well, a registration fee, you just pay at the time of registration. So it's just one time you would pay something like that. So yeah, definitely I'm going to be paying $55. However, this other fee, this meet entry fee, meet entry fee, um, I hope you noticed that little asterisk there. The GED will hide information from you. Be sure to closely examine your graphics. Uh, we see this asterisk says it's due by the day of the meet. So they're paying this meet entry fee. Again, I'd ask you, is this a repeated fee or a one-time fee? Well, um, these students, according to this table, are doing six meets each season. That meet entry fee would be per meet. So I'm not just paying $15 one time, I'm paying $15 every time my student participates in a meet. And how many uh, meets would they participate in if they participated in every meet? Six. And so that $15 is not happening once. That $15 is happening six times. 15 times six gives us a total of 90 bucks in meet fees. So I've got 90 bucks in meet fees, $55 in registration fees. Now I can add up the two different kinds of fees. And I come to $145 investment for the entire season. So that is the final answer, $145 is the total an 11 year old would pay in registration and meet fees over the course of a season. Um, Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.